properties of semiconductor materials semiconductor definition a substance that is usually solid element or a compound which can conduct electricity under certain conditions that makes it a good medium for the passing of current is known as a semiconductor basically semiconductors are the materials which are conductive between an insulator and or non conductors and metals that are conductors they can either be pure element or even compounds they are an important part of our lives because of the role played by them in the electronic devices semiconductor properties now let's look into variable conductivity semiconductors in their natural state are poor conductors because a current requires the flow of electrons and semiconductors have their valence bands filled preventing the entry flow of new electrons there are several developed techniques that allow semiconducting materials to behave like conducting materials such as doping or gating these modifications have two outcomes n type and p type these refer to the excess or shortage of electrons respectively an unbalanced number of electrons would cause a current to flow through the material heterojunctions heterojunctions occur when two differently doped semiconducting materials are joined together for example a configuration could consist of p doped and n doped germanium this results in an exchange of electrons and holes between the differently doped semiconducting materials the n doped germanium would have an excess of electrons and the p doped germanium would have an excess of holes the transfer occurs until equilibrium is reached by the process called recombination which causes the migrating electrons from the n type to come in contact with the migrating holes from the p type a product of this process is charged ions which result in an electric field excited electrons a difference in electrical potential on a semiconducting material would cause it to leave thermal equilibrium and create a non equilibrium situation this introduces electrons and holes to the system which interact via a process called ambipolar diffusion whenever thermal equilibrium is distributed in a semiconducting material the number of holes and electrons changes such disruptions can occur as a result of a temperature difference or photons which can enter the system and create electrons and holes the process that creates and annihilates electrons and holes are called generation and recombination light emission in certain semiconductors excited electrons can relax by emitting light instead of producing heat these semiconductors are used in the construction of light emitting diodes and fluorescent quantum dots thermal energy conversion semiconductors have large thermoelectric power factor making them useful in thermoelectric generators as well as high thermoelectric figures of merit making them useful in the thermoelectric coolers